Hi, everybody. Just give me a second to share it out. Thanks for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you. So it's our Friday energy flow. <laughs> I have a few things to say today. So it's not gonna be real quick. It's gonna be probably 20 minutes or so. So hang in there. There's lots of good stuff today. Guides have been speaking to me since about 5 a.m. <laughs> 5 a.m. But I did go back to sleep, have a little bit more, and I've been working on myself ever since preparation for today. And of course for Sunday and for that big lunar eclipse. So as soon as I see that there are a few people on, we will start. Oh, look at that. And see today, hopefully you can see me okay. Today I am able to see on my phone, so I'll be able to um, uh, find you. Thanks, Ajana, for doing that. Appreciate it. Thanks, you guys, for sharing it out. Hi, you guys. Oh, it's Alyssa. How are you doing? I hope you're doing better. Barb's here and Val's here. Good to see everybody. How are you guys doing? <laughs> I just laugh because this morning I woke up and I felt like a, what do you call that? An asphalt roller rolled over the top of me. <laughs> and it reminded me of that meme, which is, you know, what is it? The Mercury's and Mercury's direct, so now it's your own asphalt. <laughs> I was thinking of that, but mostly I was thinking, ow, holy cow. You know, you just, we don't, um, we need to clear, <laughs> we need to clearing ground is what we're gonna do. So thank you so much. As soon as I have like, I don't know, a few more people. Oh, there's six people. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thanks so much, everybody, for coming. So my plan, uh, and I have one, <laughs> is I am going to be doing these lives on Friday just to collect up the energy that I see. I start doing it on Monday. That's when my week uh, happens. Um, I start getting the energy, and by Friday, I pretty much know what's going on out there in the world, and we're going to um, do a little smoothing. The difference between a reading for you and the smoothing is that I'm collecting up uh, what's on all of us <laughs> and clearing that out and giving a little chat like everybody in their Labrador retrievers doing right now uh, on the energies because it's just such a special year old 24 we just want to love old 24 <laughs> we got a few more months to go so I'm fairly giggly today because I did have a nice cup of coffee just recently and I'm gonna try my best uh, not to go over the top on that <laughs> that's when I start telling telling jokes and you guys don't need that you just need the energy so Looks like Kelly's here, Galadriel's here, Kimberly's here. So, oh, there's Justin. How you doing, brother? So I'm just going to start because it's 3.03 and I want to be on time. Like I said, for you guys, if you just um, popped on, I'm going to be about 20 minutes. I'm going to be um, clearing and kind of just coming through with some smoothing energies. I'm going to do a little explanation because it's a really special day. So it was actually a special day a couple days ago, but I couldn't do it till the guide said go. So I actually have in my hand my book. And I'm really excited. I wish I had the other one to show you. It's pretty too, it's green. It's That's art one, um, this is art two. And I today, because it's such a awesome day and there's a lot of cool energy, today's the day that I got all the codes finished for art three, which is gonna be next year in about 13 months. So 13, very important. Okay, so today's the 13th. Um, we're gonna love on our goddess self. No matter who you are, we're gonna love on that because today's a very, very special day. We're gonna clear some of that energy um, that has come up because you guys got you know some of the ultimate clearing, which was that um, big ass uh, X flare. Um, we had 
what was it, KP8 or KP7, which gave all kinds of awesome um, Aurora Borealis, definitely in Pennsylvania. So I was really tired. I went to bed early last night because of all the stuff I just said, and uh, doggone it, um, I did not go out and see if I could see any auroras. Um, hey, Mel, how you doing, babe? That's Corey. How you doing? I'm going to try not to mess around on, on my screen because last time y'all know what happened and I couldn't see you beautiful people. And there's Amra. I'm glad to see you. And there's Irma Kay. So Irma Kay is going to come on and she's going to talk about astrology, as is Chanda. So I'm hoping if either one of you guys is watching, you can tell me uh, what you want to talk about between now and the end of this year. Um, I'm scheduling people are going to start a little bit more in um, more in October. September, uh, we have, I think, Paula, or else it's October. I haven't done that exactly because I've been bringing that other stuff through. So thanks for coming. It's cool to have this in my hand, and I was hoping Tom would come in and we could say, it's our baby. We've been working on this to get to this point for five years. Okay, so let's go through what I have to say very quickly, and then I'm going to... Uh, send you the beautiful smoothing energy so what is today about it's lucky Friday the 13th um, there's going to be a full harvest moon on the 17th 18th depending on where you live um, we're going to bring peace and ease into the body people are feeling exhausted overwhelmed wary is a word um, spirit chose to give me today clogged up so we're bringing that balance um, Let's see, I toned a lot this morning. My light language came through in a few different dialects, which is just so weird when that happens. I mean, Val knows, Mel knows, Amaral knows. I mean, people know that you got a lot of languages. I, I had a few to offer, but I had some other ones come through and it's just so weird to hear that just pop right out of your, your mouth. It just sounds so, it just feels so good. So my class this week's called The Humor of the Hyena. And the hyenas symbolize how to be lighthearted. Um, they symbolize what is often overlooked and they're about communication and masculine feminine balance. So that's kind of perfect for this week. My classes are always done up to a month ahead. Uh, I don't know what we're going through other than what spirit tells me and doggone it, it's the hyena. <laughs> and it's the eel too, because the electric eel has a whole bunch to say. Um, the value of using everything for energy, because remember hyena is a scavenger just like my beloved buzzards are scavengers and they have tremendous energy. I see them all the time. They have a couple of roost areas right over one block and so I go out and we view each other. <laughs> and I, the last thing I heard was a void, void space. So, so that's kind of where we wanna be and I'm going to explain that in just a second. So today we work with my guide, um, Huitzilopochtli. He's an Aztec god, the hummingbird. He's the hummingbird, okay? And uh, you might feel fiery energy. I worked with him this morning and I felt a little toasty. I had to remove pillows off the sofa and just be one with the air conditioner because it's huge energy coming through this uh, heart flame and all kinds of stuff that's going on right now. So we're gonna work today with the blue beings of light, the Arcturians, and of course our class on uh, the weekend is the Pleiadians. And if you guys are astrologers or just sort of know what the what, um, that uh, something is in line with Pleiades. I, I'm not an astrologer. Played one on the radio. Didn't count. Didn't observe much. So we had a, a nice X flare yesterday, pretty darn early. Just in time to blast us for the lunar eclipse. And we're going to learn to ground into water today. So Archangel Gabriel told me this morning, keep sending the light. And what I see it is, is let's just say you're making a drum and you're stretching the skin, okay? We're stretching ourselves to hold the light. And he's given me all kinds of what is light situations lately, starting out with what um, uh, Jeff Razanon gave me a few months back that was huge for light. And everything else now with the solar disk, which you'll hear people talk about the solar disk now. It makes me really happy. We're all hearing these words, right? It's it's pretty darn cool. So we'll go to the diamond pillar to do it. Um, it's a source of balance and a place to enliven us. Okay, you're fine. You're absolutely fine right where you are. You want to you want to know that you're totally good. You got everything you need right there. So why did these codes work? So they work to balance and zero point, 
they are always about clearing out the shadow, always. They're always about the subconscious, and that's what Miss Electric Eel is about, is the subconscious. So when I sling these, they are in zero point, they're in they're quantum, they are uh, whatever the heck you want to say about it. All, all I know is every time I go to my guides and say, do I need to do this? They say, you already have a code for it, or you're going to get a code for it. So I'm just sitting in my own stuff. And you guys, a lot of you people that are healers or or seers or you guys all have your own stuff too so I'm just gonna give you from my heart mine today so we're going to be working with some codes um, uh, we're gonna clear what is on the surface for everybody so we're gonna use um, I think I'm just gonna tell you the codes as we do it so a friend of mine said the other day that his plan was to hold the power in the moment because it's his job um, so he takes the responsibility. So if you get into something that's difficult, know that you have the power in the moment to be the observer and look and see what's being ladled out. They are ladling, ladling right now. They're giving you all kinds of things to take your, um, your, uh, your energy. Basically what it is, is it's to take your focus. That's better. Um, you're pulled all over. Um, and to bring yourself back to zero point, you're going to want to ground. And go out and hug those trees um, so you want to align and acknowledge that your energy is within the trees the mountains the earth the grounding okay otherwise it's very easy to hear this that's going out all around us okay if you don't know what to do go outside let na let nature help you really to try your best to keep your spirits up because your cells your very body is listening to when we um, aren't okay doesn't mean that you don't work with the emotions. That's not what I'm talking about. All right. So I'm going to tell you a couple things because at the end, I'm just going to say goodbye and love you. And we're going to start in just a second, but this is just my little update. So now that I have the book, um, I know when I'm going to teach art one, two, and three. I did that before. This is a whole different banana. Okay. So um, I, we're going to go up to 130 codes. If you guys are my students, you'll know that's an awful lot of codes. And we go through all kinds of different little groups of stuff that we've been working on this year. So if you ever get a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you'll notice that I go up pretty high in the coding if you're ready to have that blown out. Okay? And so um, I'm going to teach... Uh, I'm going to go slightly in the skills and the ladder combos and the universal uh, lock and key to touch on that. Um, these are why do people get stuck, um, how the codes are boosted, how they're given into your body, just like Reiki, and then you have them forever and can teach the class. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. You'll notice it's up on the, um, my uh, website today, marybeckman.com, and it tells you all about it. Okay? And let me, or it will be. That's what uh, the mister is working on right now. He's putting up the thing about the, um, the seance. So the seance is October 30th. I've done this now for five years. I think it's been on Zoom or it was live. I can't remember. I did a lot of them. Um, I only take eight people, so it sells out instantly. So if you want to be part of that, awesome. And I get to do it live here in Pennsylvania this year too because I finally made some friends. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to be um, doing some work at a beautiful place called the Divine Dragonfly. Really nice people. Oh my gosh, really good vibe in there and awesome crystals. So I will be there um, a couple times a month and I just thank them for allowing me to come in and show them the art of their energy which is a little weird works good okay so my card deck <laughs> I'm gonna say it lot I'm gonna say it live my card deck is gonna be coming in a box here pretty quick um, and so that's pretty neat and I'll be teaching how to use that and there's 111 cards in there goes up to a certain spot really cool and fun and I'm pretty art by um, mr. Beckman uh, seance date is October 30th online. That's a Wednesday at 6 p.m. Um, Pacific. And I think I said enough about that. That's going to be universal channeling because the next day after Halloween also is All Souls Day. All Souls and All Saints, excuse me. All Souls and All Saints. So you're going to hear from everybody universally. Uh, anyway, bless you. We're going to start now. Yep. We're going to start right now. And I have a little thing I'm going to do. I actually wrote it out today as I was listening to the Holy Ones. So I'm just going to look at you really quickly. Bless you all. Thanks for coming.
Hi, Paul Sullivan. I have to tell you, I really appreciate your post. I love seeing you and your family and all the stuff you do. So I just want to thank you for coming today. It's odd little energy work, but it really does work. So God bless you, sir. Okay, so let's start, everybody. Whoops, that's the wrong, the wrong thing. Hold on. Hold the phone. That's what we're doing. So close your eyes, please. Everybody close your eyes, no matter where in the world you are. Take your hands and feet apart. I sure hope you drank some water. That's all I got to say. If you need to, go ahead, because as usual, I'm looking for the start in all my, all my gear here. Okay, so just sit quietly and allow the codes to pass through you. We're going to call in the sun disc. So see your bare feet walking on crystal. Tune it to bloodstone. It's deep forest green with red. The sun disk is about speed, time, and matter. We're going to call in the new four directions to hold our zero point space right here. The sun and the great central sun, the draw of the planets around new earth, the earth, air, fire, and water, the frequency of human change. Further out, the four directions that holds this work are of your energy which is the golden columns of light, star and stone, the stargate, which is your octahedron, your own sacred geometry around you, the violet flame to transmute, and the blue light to rise and ground. Now, way far beyond that, super far now, used to be a couple football fields, holy cow, are you guys big and beautiful. You want to know that the emerald orb is around there. Remember, we used to work in that. Now, we're right there on the green bloodstone. We call in the highest, easiest timeline. That's what you want to do. Call in your highest, easiest. Recognize that sacred geometry is under your feet. You might feel your own sacred geometry where you are working or living. You're going to notice that your crystals are under there too. You may feel them moving around a little bit. Imagine that your spiral is both under feet and above the head. So we can clear. We call in Source Creator, God, our highest and future self, our ancestors and beings of light, teams of light. Go ahead and say out loud, I call back to me my body, mind, spirit, and emotions. And then call to your eternal soul. Once you do that, you're aligned. And I'm going to send the code early. We're going to ground in a second, but I'm going to send this code early. It's 106. So 106 to everybody. I'm going to anchor here a little bit. 106 to everybody. That clears lower energy by your free will. And because we said so. Now I'm going to do the abundance activation overlay before I do the daily business here. So abundance activation, because why not? Everybody needs not needs really, but everybody loves that abundance. So let's bring it in. Keep your eyes closed. Number 34, abundance. 35, the power path. 36, masculine feminine balance. 37, heart mind. 38, prosperity. Number nine, whoops, 38, prosperity. Number nine, source of fear release. Number 11, release the past in this moment. Number 12, freedom I am. Those last three are code combos. You got to do that before you do the other because abundance, remember, is always on offer. You align to it. It's like peace. You align to it. Okay? It's always there. All right. So here comes the overlay. And I send that with my guy, Mr. Tesla. We love him. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome. Now I'm going to find out, do they need uh, some more of these overlays? Yeah, you do. Do they need two, three, four? Four. These are just art of your energy things that we do, and it's extremely specific, but if you don't need it, you don't need it. Number five, number six, number seven. Okay, you do. Um, we're going to do the, um, let me see if it's on the other page. No, it's not. We're going to do the chakra reboot. There is a lot of sucking and blowing on this one, so just feel your 22 chakras uh, come back into balance. Here we go. Uh, we start under your feet with your earth star, number 100, your root, number 98, your sacral, 100, coming up now, 80, 
107, 95, 110, Thank you. Trust that your chakras are now balanced. Looking at your energy now, your energy is open. Please to continue to uh, close your eyes. Please keep your eyes closed. Okay, where were they? Where were they before? So you guys were exactly where you were before, but you're, you're in a lot of over. Were in a lot of overthinking, and there's just no need to do that. Remember, we're in a line of peace, in that joy frequency that's up there, that happiness frequency that's there too. Okay, and now your energy is quite open. We are going to go ahead and release um, some emotions now what's ready to go is gonna go and it's gonna go um, as a group okay so I'm gonna use what we're gonna be working with on uh, Sunday it's a thing I'll probably do for at least a week or so because that's where you are maybe after the moon we won't be okay um, we're gonna clear with number um, oh wait that's a little later we are going to clear Sorrow and pity, irritated, disunited, and overwhelm. I'm going to say it again. Sorrow and pity, irritated, disunited, and overwhelm. Clearing in the north, south, east, west, all lifetimes, timelines, forms, structures, families, universes, patterns, and programming. Okay, and there it goes. Okay, and here's the dealio. Where that was coming from was uh, the famous pancreas. God knows I know about the pancreas. The pancreas, the adrenal cortex, the sigmoid colon, and uh, I don't know where the other two come from. I'm going to slid those puppies in because Spirit said so. Okay, very good. Now, you're going to get, so Holy Ones, is it just is it just the next thing or do I continue? I'm just going to continue and see. I don't want to miss anything. Are they number nine? Are they number ten? So it doesn't matter if you came in in the moment I started or it doesn't matter if you came in three hours later. You were part of this group. You were part of this group that was meant to be um, adjusted with this. Number 11, number 12, number 13, uh, and that one right there. We're going to clear your sacrum because a lot of people are talking about their low back right now. So I have to say mine feels a million times better because I went out and grounded. I figured out what it was. It was in my um, subconscious, and I cleared that. So right now, remember, the codes do this, and the little hoochie doogie that I do <laughs> with my hands. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to clear the sacrum, chronic pain, anger of the past in the north, south, east, west, all lifetimes, timelines, form structures, families, universes, patterns of programming, and there you go. Very good. Now, just because it's a your your um, energy is different at this moment than it was when I looked at you hours ago, do they need another one of those? No, you don't. Okay. So just know that it's about the root chakra, everybody, because we're in, we're trying to figure out how to be safe, okay? Know that safe is always there. We've just aligned with something else. If you don't feel that way, you've aligned with something else on offer, which there's a lot. Okay, so keep your eyes closed. Okay, do they need that next one, the next one, that one right there? So at this moment, I release anything Back to source, lifted, enlightened, forgiven, and loved. Off you go, because I said so. And through their free will. One more time. And the thing is, holy ones, I just call in uh, these guys, and I'm going to clear out with them. Okay. And I'm going to clear out with them. So if you feel some movement, that's my guides. Just sending all that lower energy stuff on the road to source. Okay. All right, so do they need this thing? One more time. All right, do they need some codes? Yeah, you do. Okay, so I know the codes you need, so hang in there. Eyes closed. Okay, so I'm going to send you number 80, blame betrayal, because maybe that's come up. Number 120, dimensional travel. That's when you're pulled all over. This is a settling code, brings you back to zero point. That one, super good, super good new code, okay? Because right now, remember, what's on offer is, oh, look at here, Okay, number 70 or 75, malware. Malware release. So malware is thinking in ways that don't uplift your energy or uplift your life. Again, the invitation to get stuck, connected with the old controller power that used to be because they're just making all... Somebody said the other day, I loved it. I don't forget who. Those old controllers are making a lot of noise as they're exiting. 
Okay, they're exiting. It doesn't look like it, but it is. So the way you perceive stuff, this is on you now. You're gonna choose, you're gonna make the choice to align with the highest timeline. That's what you wanna do. And so can I have them do that? Yeah, okay. So go ahead and imagine right now you're still standing on that beautiful bloodstone. So you're standing on the bloodstone. I want you to take off a pair of overalls. Take them all the way off and just lay them on the bloodstone. They're about to disappear. So holy ones, um, is that what they need? Do they need something else? Okay, so go ahead and say, I call myself back. Body mind, spirit, and emotions. Open your eyes, and if you would, please drink some water. Let me know if you feel warm. Just reading to see if anybody asked me a question or said Yahoo. Ah, oh, some new people that I don't know. We love those vultures, don't we? There's Bianca. Hi, folks that I don't know. <laughs> you might be from Sology. Sology is, is um, I'm part of that community too. I used to do some classes on there and they're lovely people. Thanks everybody for coming. There's China. how you doing, baby bird? And Stephanie, Melinda. Angela, ah, uh, Angela, came through the hurricane or typhoon or whatever. Okay, so China says, I'm feeling like butter. Feeling like butter, fuzzy all over, there we go. Uh, feeling clean, clear, and light. Clean, clear, and light, and present. That's whoopsie, that is right where we want you to be. Does anybody have a question? Boy, howdy, did I give you a lot of information just in this one? Um. And of course, I can't see everybody who said stuff, so please just know I'll get back to you. I had a post, a couple posts lately that I didn't even get back to. I've just been super busy this week. It's just been, yeah. <laughs> uh, you're welcome, you guys. Feel so clear and fresh. It's like a spiritual shower. Yeah, I love you. So baby was clearing too. Baby bird had a baby bird, and she said the baby was clearing too. <laughs> I feel like I have fingertips on the back of my head. So here's the deal, that uh, red flame of Huitzilopochtli, um, that is, you, you, you kind of want that right now, okay? So he's an amazing guide. You can look him up, the hummingbird, uh, Aztec. Um, can we share this? Yeah, absolutely, thank you, Jessica, please share. Love you too, Steph. It's funny, every time I roll this up, my friend's live on, the, uh, on another page. <laughs> So hi to you. Okay, all right, you guys. Thank you so much. Remember to come back. Um, if you want me, I'm Mary Beckman. Uh, Beckman.com. Oh, for f sake! I'm gonna put it on here. I can. I've got a lot going on, kids. <laughs> and I'm about to talk about a lot going on. So forgive me because I'm gonna do an ad once in a while in November. I'm gonna be talking about being in Tybee Island, Georgia, in October. I'm gonna talk about those decks. I'm gonna teach you guys how to use them. And I'm gonna talk about the codes because when the fo codes. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Must be that red flame. When the codes first came out, the book first came out, I didn't talk about it a lot. I'm going to this time. So if you see my face and you're sick of me, right click. But I'm usually going to give you something <laughs> when I come on to talk. So um, that's just me. And I love you. And I thank you. And I'll see you next Friday. Hope to see you students in uh, the hyena class on Sunday. God bless you.